When I first joined the company 17 years ago, I used to commission whatever that people has already designed. Now, I get to be part of the design team. I get to physically test whatever I design back in the office. Even at the age of 40, there's still a lot of things to learn. Hey, hi. My name is Alex, and I've been working for Citrium for 17 years. So, yeah. Yes, uh, since I graduated in 2007. I'm looking through the Floating Living Labs dashboards. This gives me a quick overview of what has happened on board and if there's any alarm or critical matters that I should be attending to. What is this Floating Living Lab? The Floating Living Lab is a test page where Citrums test new green technologies that's available. It has energy storage systems on board. We are also installing chargers for future electric hovercrafts. In all, it is to reduce the carbon emissions, to de-risk some of these initiatives so that we can better plan for future scale-ups and drive higher adoption in the industry. So there is the Citrons Floating Living Lab alongside our figure pier. I probably go out like once every week. When you go out, what do you do? I'll probably be there to troubleshoot some problems that we are facing. So we have received more and more requests from ship owners to go into more clean and green energy options. On land, all the charging is relatively different from what we experience on sea. The main difference between EVs and Hubbercraft is that generally Hubbercrafts are bigger in size and therefore the bigger battery capacity. In this sea environment, our equipment needs to have an extra layer of protection against this harsh environment. So what you're looking at here is a module of the battery where all the battery cells are inside. So you can imagine all these cells like your typical AA batteries. In order for us to put it in a ship, these batteries need to be properly monitored so as to prevent any potential fire hazards. When I first joined the company 17 years ago, I used to commission whatever that people has already designed. Now I get to be part of the design team. I get to physically test whatever I design back in the office. It's interesting because back on the drawing board, there's so many considerations. Now being on the actual side, this gives me first-hand information of whether this thing works or not. We have built a very strong camaraderie among my colleagues. Definitely, time to time, conflict arise. Our approach to this is a very open manner. We will get everybody to walk the site together, to see the physical problem together. I greatly appreciate this kind of dynamics within the team where everybody is ready to put on their PPE and then be on site to solve the problem together. People tend to think that the shipyard is a very noisy, dirty environment. This might be the environment that is preventing the younger generation from joining us. When I first joined, I would say 90% of my time will be spent on board. Now, most of the time, I will be staying in office. I still very much love this job. I try to push for change in the industry. So do you sometimes feel overwhelmed with this kind of belief? Definitely, but the good thing is that all the past experiences that I've gained from my commissioning days, that helps to build a very good foundation for me to understand all these electrical systems. And even at the age of 40, there's still a lot of things to learn. Initially, my parents were worried about the long hours and also concerned about safety because they are not very sure of the working environment. But working inside the shipyard, we have a lot of procedures in place. Before you can start any work, there will be various parties that you need to get a permit from to ensure that it's safely executed. With automation, all the work processes get easier. That also improves my working hours, making it more predictable so you know I can spend more time with my families and friends. 